Now we're going to make a custom lampshade. You know, you can go to specialty shops all around and look for these specialty custom lampshades that are pre-made. They can cost anywhere from $10 to $50, sometimes $150, even for the little small ones like these that go on the chandelier. Now you think about the fact that most chandeliers have at least five lights, sometimes up to 10, sometimes 18. You can see where the cost can get incredibly out of control. This project here is going to keep the cost down. Now the first thing you're going to need for this project is, well, obviously a lampshade. And there are a lot to choose from. You don't need to go to a fancy lighting store and get a brand new one because let's think about it. We're really just going to be covering it anyway. So the quality, you got some play there. Some of my favorite places to find lampshades are salvage yards, consignment stores, thrift stores, you can go to yard sales, online auctions. There are a lot of places to find lampshades that are in good shape. Maybe if they're a little tarnished, that's okay. It's even better because you can get them a lot less expensive. Now this one is a perfect example of what you're looking for. It's got a nice flat surface. There's not a lot of detail. A lot of the other ones here that I have have that same flat surface. The large one that you can see behind me, this one right here, these are perfect examples of good lampshades to choose when you're going to do a project like this. Some that you want to avoid, if you look down here, these that have a lot of excess detail, you can see here with the ridges, that's going to be really hard to cover. This one here, especially with all the detail down here, unless you're an upholsterer, this is going to be a really hard project. If you're a newbie, stay away from these, stick to something better like this. There's also a new product on the market. You can get this pretty much at any craft store or fabric store, and that's these right here. These are self-adhesive lampshades. They cost a little bit more, but they make the project a whole lot easier. Another thing you want to avoid with these lampshades is one that already has an existing pattern on it. If it's got a paisley pattern or a stripe, you may think that when you cover it with fabric, it'll disappear. But when you turn the light on, it'll actually shine through, your patterns will clash, and all that hard work will be for nothing.